Do you promise happiness for those who follow what you teach? If a person sincerely follows exactly what I teach, they will become extremely happy. Definitely. That is definitely the case. It depends upon them following. There's the great big if. Many people who come to my seminars believe they are following what I'm teaching when they are not. They believe they know what I'm talking about when I know they do not know. And, and this is the problem with terminology um, that we use. You know, on earth you have to have terminology to express things. You, you express things in a language. The problem with the expression of things in a language is that people think they assume, or they assume they know what you're talking about, when they might not know the feeling involved of what you're talking about. It's very, very hard to discuss things with people who believe they know what you're talking about when they don't really know. And the only way they're really going to know is if they learn to practice the three primary principles of love, truth and humility, but particularly humility. And that is the biggest problem that I see in terms of people that come to the seminars. The majority of them have, are nowhere near humility when it comes to an assessment of the truth of their own lives. And as a result of that, they're not yet feeling what they actually feel. And so they, they think they know what I'm talking about when they're not yet experiencing it. Once they experience it, then they will know. And what I find for most people is that they realise that after a while. You know, you've said to me three years, you know, I think just recently you said, three years ago you told me that and I thought I understood and now I get what that means, you know. And many people have said that to me over the time, over my life, over the 2,000 years of my life, where they thought they knew what I was saying. And then when they went through a personal emotional experience, they realised that the experience was what I was saying and I was trying to describe an experience to them that they themselves didn't really understand at the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.